A new wave of tech innovation is flowing through South Australia's universities into defence projects, including the country's new nuclear submarines. Local companies are pledging to ramp up their research and development if the Commonwealth commits to using Australian contractors in the subs build. Welcome to the Flinders University Factory of the Future, where new technology is being tested to be rolled out at Adelaide's shipyards. The shipyard of the future is what we might describe as the digital shipyard. It's full of advanced manufacturing technologies. Among them spot the Boston Dynamics Robodog, which could venture into environments too small or dangerous for humans. We're now able to envisage uh, human beings working alongside of uh, robots, whether or not they are quadrupedal uh, robots, uh, dog robots that walk, or collaborative robots that work alongside you. At UniSA, defence-related research is driving innovations which could be used across many industries. There are some amazing technological developments that are driving our research. Cyber, artificial intelligence, autonomous systems, robotics. Dr Camille Zuber is working on plastics that can change colour on command, giving military drones or vehicles chameleon-like qualities to allow them to blend with the environment to provide them better active type of camouflage so they could change the colour when they change the environment. The panels only need a tiny jolt of electricity from a AA battery to change colour and don't produce any light. We've tested it against uh, infrared and near infrared, so for example night vision goggles and uh, heat sensors and it does not uh, produce any signal. Professor Saborn Banks is learning how submariners can stay healthy and alert while spending months underwater. She's found protein-rich snacks can improve performance and the smell of familiar breakfast foods should be avoided before going to sleep. So bacon cooking in the, in the morning for breakfast often signals to the body that it's the morning time. This doesn't necessarily, this isn't always necessarily good for the person's performance, however, if they're about to go off to sleep. Professor Anthony Flynn has worked with the military to detect threats like drones from a vast distance. We can detect targets when they are less than a pixel. New defence projects are also borrowing from technology in the commercial sector, like video game software. BAE Systems is using a popular video game engine to create a data-filled digital replica of its facilities. That's actually a really great thing for defence because we're getting uh, that very quick technology turnover happening much quicker in defence uh, but also those commercial products then uh, get that defence edge. Katig Welding is pledged to build a world leading research and development facility in Adelaide if the federal government puts clauses in the nuclear subs contracts guaranteeing work for locals. What we need from the government is for them to stump up with their rhetoric and actually put some meat on the bones and actually require the contractors to do the work with Australian companies. Joel Philp, Sky News, Adelaide.